So for today's video, we have a weekend at home vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna call this a moving vlog because I'm still moving in. I've only been in Atlanta for about a month. So I just got done making my morning smoothie. I'm gonna drink this and this. So that's gonna account for my morning calories for the day. I haven't started counting my calories yet, but I will probably starting next week because again, I'm trying to gain weight and get back into eating three meals a day and equal up to about 1800 to 2000 calories because right now I'm only about a thousand, which is super crazy, really bad. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me for the weekend and see what we get into. Basically, I'm gonna be doing at-home organization. I know I gotta do set up my walk-in closet with you guys, show you guys a few things that I've bought for around my house. And speaking of things that I've ordered online, I also got a package from Lulu's. And I need to try on those clothes, so I might as well do that with you guys because- So I quickly wanted to show you guys my Lulu's order that came in the mail. Thank you so much to Lulu's for partnering with me on this video. This is my first time on the website and they have like a variety of items, so I definitely recommend you guys checking out their website. First we have this two-piece set. And this is actually like a casual piece and I'm really digging this. I really like the fact on the website that they have things in a bunch of different colors and styles. This one is kind of like a chill day with your girl like running errands at the mall where you're just gonna be a little bit more cute but you can also wear this to like a brunch or like a casual date. Um, so next I picked out this really pretty like off-white dress. It kind of reminded me of something like earthy, beachy, and coastal. This dress is an all-around vibe. It just makes me feel like a goddess. I love the two slits in it at the side. I just love how it just adheres to my body shape. I love dresses like this. They're like skin tight, but because the material is super stretchy, it just snugs your body. I highly recommend this dress for everyone. Like this is has the Angui stamp of approval on it because I really feel like you guys are not gonna be disappointed in this whatsoever. And oh my goodness, I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to wear this out, y'all. It's giving me shape. It's giving me freaking shape. So this next dress is definitely giving me fall baddie vibes. This is a night out dress for me when it gets colder. The material is kind of like, like a knit sweater almost. I just love the cutouts right here. It's really, really warm. It's fitting my body really, really well. I would do this for the, the cooler night out looks. This is definitely a night out look for me. Absolutely in love with the style of this dress and the color. So the top part is actually a night out top. Halter top crop top that is really, really stretchy. So much room to breathe in this. The back of this top is so freaking cute and I feel like that's why people love it. And I really do think it is a cute night out top because you can pair this with skirts, jeans. This is gonna go with everything. And the one thing that I love about Lulu's is the review section and people really do upload pictures. It's really helpful because every single person looks so good in this top and I really like pieces that are for all body shapes. And then the bottoms are actually active wear bottoms. This blue was absolutely such a cute color So I had to pick this one out. It's so hard to find comfortable workout shorts and these are so comfortable I am in love with these like these have the ennui stamp of approval as well I So next I picked out this cutout dress right here it's on me low-key kind of a maxi dress but I really like the slit and the cutout in the center just a super cute and sexy flirty little dress this definitely is more of a going out dress for me this Lulu's also has formal attire as well yep so I picked out this black maxi dress right here it is a little bit big on me in the waist and they do offer a size extra extra small which I should have gotten but sizing down for me was possible I needed 
made a black dress for a wedding I'm going to. Their reception is all black. Um, so next I picked out some accessories. I picked out these clear pair of flats that are gonna go with absolutely everything. They have this in a bunch of different colorways as well. I also picked out these pink pair of heels that are so cute. I'm obsessed with the big jewel on the tip. I cannot wait to style these. I'm gonna have to look at Pinterest for some inspo. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this bag, guys. This is like a basket beach bag. It's pretty sturdy, actually. I love the fact that it has two handles, super lightweight. It just looks like a really elegant beach bag and this is gonna go with so many of your vacation looks and I absolutely love this. I picked out a pair of earrings that came in this little pouch. They're the teardrop earrings, but they're kind of in gold. These, I got them to be like everyday earrings. I love earrings a lot and I kind of like go for the bigger ones for my everyday earrings, so these are gonna be perfect. And I also picked out the cutest beanie ever. I am absolutely obsessed with this color. Um, I feel like by the look of it, you can just tell like it's a really, really high quality beanie. This is gonna look so cute with your fall outfits. This is such a vibe. I really like this. I really like the words on it. You guys can shop everything that I just showed you from Lulu's down below. And I'm gonna leave the product links in the description box. Ask me any questions if you need to because this is a new site for me. It might be a new site for you guys. And again, thank you so much to Lulu's for partnering with me on this video. And let's get back to the rest of this vlog. Okay, guys. So we are in my bathroom right now. My pretty large bathroom. Actually, if you guys are interested to see what my entire apartment looks like, I'm going to leave the link down below to my empty apartment tour. So basically, my task for the day is putting my clothes away and organizing my closet as best as I can. Since July 1st, it is today is August 13th. Oh my gosh, it's Friday the 13th. It's Friday the freaking 13th. But since July 1st, so like a month and a couple of days, I haven't put all my clothes away. But I've just been doing other things things versus unpacking clothes especially because I have still done a few hauls so new clothes even came in I didn't really need to unpack my clothes but now I need to because like when I start going out with my friends putting outfits together and stuff like that I'm always rummaging through everything and now like all my clothing was everywhere so let me show you guys my closet so this is my closet it is in my bathroom it's a nice size walk-in closet. I'm absolutely in love with it. I love that it comes with a little bit of shelving already installed. I feel like if I must say, I did get some pretty nice little cute pieces for it. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. Oh my gosh, there's so much lighting. Like, it's very bright. I am now filming... <sighs> I swear I have a slight form of ADHD. My thoughts just go all over the place, guys. This is happening because I haven't spoken to you guys in like... A regular vlog where I haven't traveled so it's like I have so much to say and tell you guys that it's all jumbling up in my thoughts but basically I just wanted to say really quickly that I'm shooting right now with my vlogging camera the Canon G7X Mark II in the auto setting and it's working out really well so far for indoors like the lighting just looks so much better and cleaner and crisp so there's that because people always ask what setting I film in. The other setting I film in is AV. Yeah, so I did want to show you guys that. Like, I don't really like at-home vlogging because I feel like it's not very interesting for you guys to watch me do stuff in my house. But it does take longer to do the task because you're filming it, have to make sure the camera is set up. I had to put on this wig today because I'm vlogging in actual clothes. Normally when I'm at home, I will literally be in a tank top in boxers. So I'm really, really happy that I did get that Lulu sponsorship just because I've always wanted to try out doing a haul like I just showed you guys in a vlog. And it's allowing me to actually show you guys more about my apartment because I've really been wanting to show you guys my closet and how I'm about to organize it and stuff like that. So let me just give you guys a tour of my closet. So basically this is like sweats and loungewear. This is a box of shoes, undergarments that are gonna go in my dresser, um, jeans and denim, and this is more loungewear. And this is just miscellaneous up here that I took out the boxes, but I do have shoes. And when I do travel with my sneakers, these are clothing bags. So I keep these because I still my items on depop i do put my shoes in these because i you're not supposed to mess up your good sneakers so just to keep them from scuffing with other shoes more shoes down there again miscellaneous that needs to go so with getting started i did not want to be picking out my dresses from a bag putting in them on a hanger so yesterday i actually did a lot of work yesterday which is why i'm so tired today but yesterday used all the velvet hangers that i could and hung up my dresses and things that need to go in my closet just to make 
filming this video easier. I had velvet hangers before at my last place, but it was only for like silk and like fancy tops that would slip off. But now I'm switching to all velvet hangers and I like the light, Um, I don't even know what's called this, light cream or ivory. So I did get my hangers from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and we're gonna get started. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to be listening to true crime on my phone just to pass the time and like YouTube story times. But the first step, and putting anything away in a new closet is wiping down the closet. I'm gonna start off by wiping off the ledges with some disinfectant wipe or you can also use like a spray and paper towel. So I have both in case I run out of wipes. Um, I still cannot see over this ledge. I'm scared there's gonna be spiders up here that I can't see. Now it's giving, do I even wanna put stuff up here? I'm scared. Let me see. Yup, okay, well now I know that I need to get a higher step stool. So it looks like we're not gonna be doing the top row cause I can't even see up there. So I'm kinda like, kinda scared to put my hand up there. So I'm just gonna stick to wiping down this bottom level and clearing that out. My goal is not to, for this closet to be perfect yet because obviously I don't have enough hangers and I still need a little bit more cute pieces to go like in places like this. I'm thinking like a bag stand, a little like more perfume tray, stuff like that. But basically I just need to get all the clothes off that rock, all rock, all the clothes off that rack and all the clothes off the floor and organize in some way in here. And of course, over time you're gonna see it get better. But if you guys have tips since we're done with this, please comment down below, leave them down below on where you think like I should move things on high and how you think that I should organize this closet. <laughs> progress that I've made it is a bunch of progress so what you guys saw me doing was taking the boxes that were on the floor and emptying them I decided that I wasn't gonna hang up all of my sweatshirts and hoodies because I realized that would be pointless because when I buy new hangers I would have to hang them up again so I just hung a few of them up right there and then I put the rest in these bags right here these are packing bags I actually use them to move I use four of them this is full of like hoodies and sweats back in the bathroom my boots are in here the some bags are still in here and then we have this to hang but hung those things up and then I folded some of my sweatpants I put all my jeans here and then I unloaded that shoe box so I have a lot of shoes on the ground this looks honestly so pretty I feel like it makes my closet look even more like a closet just having the shoes down below here so i kind of tried to do a color scheme it's looking like i should put the pink row right here but i just really don't want to move it so i'm going to leave it like this for now 
I literally still have heels spread out throughout my house. Like I really do feel like I have 10 to 15 more pairs of heels, but there's no space for them here. If you do watch my apartment tour, you will know that I do have a den. Um, I wanted a two bedroom, but how things were looking, I ended up choosing this place that only has a den. The only thing about the den is there's no window light, but it's gonna be like a beauty room slash office space and I think I'm gonna have to have like another shoe rack built in there because I just have too many shoes and I still have boots and flats. So this is just mis miscellaneous right here and then some pairs of the boots. I think I have about 10 more pairs of boots in a box but that's just what we're working with. I put some bags up there just to place them there. Yeah so right now we're about to hang up the rack of clothes and then bring in the ottoman that I wanted to show you guys. putting um long dresses and small dresses together kind of quarter co co kind of color coordinated i do not know yet depending on if i do something with my jeans maybe hanging them up i still might put short dresses i should probably show you guys i still might put short dresses on this side it's just that like the jeans are kind of in the way right now so until i figure out what to do with the jeans i'm not sure yet it does look really really nice in here the clothes kind of make it look a little less less white for the light to reflect off of so it does look a little bit darker in here but it does feel like a closet i'm so happy that i can move around in it now i really do think i might put my perfumes i might put my perfumes right here right now i just have like a chanel bag literally me and chanel perfume are like this they have me in neutral code down below is my jewelry thing i have not organized this yet i'm just going to leave this like that for now one thing that i will show you that i got for my jewelry were these stackable jewelry organization trays and i got these from home goods they were 15 dollars for a pack of two they had different colors i chose the white and like beige i i really wish both fit in here but they do not so they will have to be stacked on each other but i'm really happy that they're different like sizes so this i can fit watches in here and bracelets which is really nice and i don't know what else i might put in here maybe that would be a good spot for glasses to go i do think i will do that because i've never had a place to put my glasses before this is just gonna look so cute guys this is gonna oh my gosh i'm so happy that i bought this and then the next fun thing that i got for my closet are these are these led puck lights and they're touch activated i only have three shelves so i think i might buy one more but i just wanted to test it out i'm going to place them underneath here just so the light can shine on the jewelry make it look really nice there i might put one up there but i don't really know and plus i'm short so they're touch activated so i couldn't even press that one anyway but i do really want to show you guys one more fun thing that will wrap up my closet so i've got my handy dandy box cutter one of the best things i've ever bought from amazon i'm so excited for this i really think this is gonna set my closet off it's gonna fit i hope i just hope it looks good in here and i chose the right color so let's go ahead and open this up <laughs> pretty pink ottoman for my closet i just feel like i can finally breathe in here there's no boxes on in the here and there's no clothes on the ground i can get styled in here oh i did get an over the door mirror that i do need to figure out how to put in here i want to put it behind the door so i can like get dressed in here but the cool thing about this ottoman is that it's actually like storage as well oh my gosh I can put freaking shoes in here. This is amazing. I can put my boots in here. This is what the ottoman looks like up close in person. It's a little bit darker, but I really wish it looked the way it did on camera. I kind of wanted it to look a bit lighter. Low-key, my closet looks kind of messy. I'm going to have to figure out how to organize my clothes so it looks like more put together. And then I just put all my athletic shoes up there. I didn't even take them out the wrapper because I'm not even sure if they're going to stay there. I might order those like 
gym shoe boxes from Amazon and put them there for now. I think that would be cool. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to sit on. It just hurts um, a little bit because yesterday I worked out so I'm so sore, which is one of the reasons I'm tired. I feel like I said that already. The only thing is I don't know if I should have gotten the ivory color. I don't know. I do feel like white opens up the space a little bit, but the reason that I chose pink was I felt like when people come in my room, they're going to want to sit on this. And I don't really trust guests like that. Like, my entire apartment could have nice white and light things if I never had guests over. But I do feel like I'm going to make a lot of friends here. My place might be the spot to hang out. So I don't know. Do you guys think that I should return this for the white one or leave the pink? Maybe I can put a white throw on it and it might look better. Well, not look better. The thing looks really, really nice. I just mean, like, maybe... If I put a white furry throw on it, that'll bring more light colors into the room and make it shine more. Low key, if even if I wanted to, I, I could probably place LED lights here as well so it can shine on my shoes. That would be really cute. But I don't know if that's going overboard because I am going to have a shoe room and beauty room over there. Oh, so much. But yeah, I really am satisfied with this ottoman. It's a really nice size, really nice height. I got this from overstock.com. I'm going to link it down below. Uh it for the closet portion of this video i did want to show you guys some stuff in my bathroom but it's like i'm so tired and i keep saying that i don't really have any energy because i did so much yesterday filming for vlogs kind of takes a lot out of me because of all the talking that i'm doing so maybe tomorrow i will show you guys the little tidbits that i got from my bathroom that i really like and so if you did come to see my closet thank you guys so much for watching this portion this vlog is not over um today is still friday friday the 13th i might add oh Oh my goodness I'm, i must have low iron or something i'm so tired it's really giving order food i just literally completed this i haven't vlogged in forever i feel accomplished yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do all the things i said eat and nap and i'll see you guys if there's a move for tonight if not i'll see you guys tomorrow it is the next day and it is 3 30 p.m i did not even eat this morning yet like as soon as i woke up i just started reading a book and i'm on page like 225 or something so i was like definitely in my bed reading ever since i got up oh this is the book that i'm reading by the way it's called wicked in the wildflower i like reading romance novels a lot like this is absolutely my cup of tea and i just got them at the public library like i literally had like 10 books over there that i checked out but i have to post a youtube video so i'm about to do that right now i don't think i had these on yesterday if you're a lisp it's because i have in my invisalign which actually hurt so bad and which is another reason why i don't feel like eating just because i don't feel like taking them out and experiencing the pain of my like teeth shifting because I haven't been wearing them how I should. They are literally like not even on all the way at the top because they don't fit as well anymore because I haven't been wearing them as much. So the bottoms fit right now, but the top doesn't. Like, and that has always been the case when I forget to wear them. But I'm about to post my youtube video um it's a clothing haul all right so this is like my youtube studio where i'm about to make the video live um usually the day before i haven't even done all this but i had some free time last night and i like perfected everything just so i could like publish it easy today and wouldn't have to do too much i always check the title make sure there's no spelling errors my thumbnail is present and then that my description is okay and i don't know if you guys know this but at the bottom of my description after my email i have faq because people ask me these questions a lot so that is there for you guys in case you were ever wondering and then another thing that I have to make sure I remember is because I film vlogs and hauls I have to remember to change the category of my video from either entertainment to how to in style I always do my hauls as how to in style and then my vlogs are entertainment because obviously my vlogs are for entertainment purposes some of the time I do an end screen which is um, either a subscribe button or a video. It's just like buttons that are interactive on your phone and computer to, to prompt your audience to another like action. Actually, I don't have my outro in this video, so I probably will add one here. I'm gonna do my subscribe button and then I'm gonna choose a video. My other PLT haul because my vacation vlog has been getting a lot of views 
when I post the vlog I'm posting now, I'll post my vacation vlog as the end screen. Oh, another thing that I do check, which I already did last night, is I add ads to my videos because usually I forget. Oh my gosh, I feel like I sound like a man right now. But anyways, videos always like three or four. Even though this is a longer video, 16 minutes, I probably should do four. Um, let me add another ad because this is a longer video. Usually my hauls are like 10 to 12 minutes, but I always try to refrain from too many ads because usually when I see a lot of ads, I want to click off of the video. But then again, if the person is really popular, most of us just sit through it. But I feel like I'm not trying to downplay myself, but like ugh, people do tell me that they watch my ads, but I just would never want to have so many ads that it's hard to get through a video because they do kind of seem a little bit like a disturbance. But usually if I like the person a lot that I'm watching, I watch their ads. Um, so now I'm just going to make my video public and uh, that's that this is uploaded now that I posted that video I always go and leave a pinned comment and like start commenting back So I just made my pinned comment. I'm gonna be doing a back to school giveaway. Um, I'm trying to see if I wanna sponsor that video or not because it's literally just going to be giveaway, like a thank you everyone. Um, just because I'm so grateful for all of my subscribers, my followers on Instagram and everybody that supports me because you guys are the reason that I'm in this position, um, being able to live in this apartment, support my family, all of that. And I'm just so grateful whenever I think about it. So I wanna do like a cash giveaway. So stay tuned if you are in school and you would like to enter that giveaway. I think it's gonna be like two videos from now. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it because YouTube does not send out notifications or anything like that to my subscribers anymore. Yeah, so now that I'm done with that, I have to post an Instagram picture for the same brand and a TikTok for that same brand. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, I just finished posting all of my content so my youtube haul the tiktok and the instagram post and i do feel like i should mention like i'm about to make like my ig promo like when you guys see me do this on my stories and i just want to point out that i use the unfold app on my phone i get this question a lot and i do tell you guys the answer to this a lot but i feel like more and more people follow me every day it looks like this you pick your template you just go from there. I will probably make a video once my office is done about like YouTube and Instagram tips. But if you guys do want to know all my tips, they are already in my Instagram live that I did. It's three hours long and I talked to you guys and answered all your questions and gave a bunch of tips. So you guys can watch that if you are interested in like YouTube tips. All right, so now we are in my bathroom and I can finally show you the things that I didn't get to yesterday. This is what my bathroom sink looks like. It's a double sink, marble countertops, and I think this is kind of like a brass color. This is not going to stay like this, but this is what I'm doing for right now. I got this like skincare slash acrylic organizer from Amazon. It will be linked below, of course. This is from Home Goods. I just wanted you guys' opinion because I'm not sure if I want to leave it here because I feel like it might look a mess when it's actually filled up. I have like more of my products on this little table while I was cleaning off the counter. This perfume should not be here, but I love this perfume by the way. This is Burberry Her. This was in my Rebel um, Scents video. I love this. I'm not sure if my discount code still works, but you guys can check out that video. Love this scent. I use it at nighttime before sleep and when I go out when I wanna smell extra sweet. So I'm trying to figure out if I should leave it here because obviously I want my bathroom to be useful but i also want it to have a certain aesthetic i've been seeing a lot of home decor things and people usually get trays uh, i also have storage underneath here just a bunch of skincare in here that i haven't unpacked so i could put that underneath here um one of these is going to be for like hair products i haven't decided yet acrylic storage drawers from home goods as well they pull out so they're easy to get things out of there's so much space in here they are deep i tried to order these on amazon and guys they were literally like this tiny for about the same price as this they gave you two tiny ones that don't even equal this size i might use the amazon ones for something else but i picked up two of these and they are going to be like stacked up under here might as well show you guys this new shampoo that i found i posted it on instagram it's the as i am restore and repair and i bought this at sally beauty just wanting to try something new and it said for types three and four hair and guys this was detangling my hair while i was using it and i was so surprised that i had to read the back of it and it actually 
is supposed to detangle your hair while you shampoo like that is actually crazy like this is the best shampoo that i have tried so far in my life currently for conditioner this is what i use and this is one of the better conditioners that i have tried and i was using it without using this shampoo it just really really softened my curls so much and i have 4c hair yeah, i feel like this the whole video is just me showing you guys stuff that i like but again it's a vlog i'm at home so why not talk about it if i like it and recommend you guys things right now i am about to go eat some chipotle i I hate Chipotle. This vlog is full of me complaining about stuff that I don't like and me being sleepy. I'm gonna eat Chipotle and take an iron pill to see if that gives me more energy. Probably go back in my bed and keep reading since I posted all my work for today. So I will see you guys with whatever we get into next. <laughs> finally ready to go me and my friend mary are, we were supposed to go to brunch slash out to eat and then meet our friends at like this brunch event that's like day party slash turn up but it's 4 47 right now and we were supposed to eat have eaten and stuff by four so it's, we're not really gonna do like a restaurant anymore so we're gonna just go find some food to eat and then head to the brunch event because we don't want to like drink and stuff on an empty stomach i can't even show you guys too much of what i'm wearing right now but i have on this um new dress and these brown heels i'm going to insert a picture right here because we're going to take pictures right now and you guys can get all the outfit details on instagram but my jewelry is from demi Lux, and this set is actually named after me this is the angui 2.0 set she named it after me because i wear the double C set a lot so the first one's named Angui and this one is Angui 2.0 and the Angui 2.0 is so freaking fire guys um, my discount code is Angui but yeah I'm ready to go my friend's waiting for me I'm not gonna bring my vlogging camera for it so I'm just gonna vlog on my phone for the rest of the time I wish I could have turned up with you guys a little bit taking some shots because I don't even have liquor here so I'm about to head downstairs right now and take some pictures with Mary it's been like 45 minutes since I last talked to you guys and we went downstairs to take some pictures. So we were taking pictures, took my pictures for about 15 minutes. So we were taking Mary's pictures. Connected to the resident lounge, we also have like a terrace that's outside. I'm taking her pictures outside and all of a sudden it feels like I'm about to like, like pass out. Like my head just gets so lightheaded and I like stagger a little bit. To myself, I'm thinking like that happens sometimes. Like I feel like everybody's felt that way before. Just quick little feeling of like I'm about to fall over, but then it just keeps getting worse and that's never happened to me before. We haven't drank anything at all, like no alcohol, nothing. Oh, the most I've had today is water and it is 5 49 p.m which is not good at all but basically i just start falling over i'm like mary okay i think i need to go inside and like as i'm saying that it's just getting worse and worse oh so i'm passing her my phone while like trying to walk and when i say the door is maybe like 15 feet from where we're standing but it's so hard for me to walk towards it and like i'm giving her my phone I sit down in one of the outside chairs for a second, but she doesn't really know how to work like the system. So I'm trying to open my eyes to see. And thankfully, like the Bluetooth setting was on. So I just had to click a button and I'm still trying to get inside. I'm thinking to myself, like, should I call out for help? Like, it's like, I don't know what to say because I feel like she did think it was serious because she was kind of scared, but I didn't, I didn't really know what to say because I felt like we could have called the ambulance. So I get into the chair, um, finally inside the resident lounge. It's a little bit cooler and I'm just laying in the chair and I just feel like my body is sweating and I don't really sweat. Even when I work out, I don't sweat that much. Like I can feel it coming out of my arms and my legs. And then our concierge happened to be in the resident lounge and he was asking if I was okay. And he brought me a water and he was saying that, that the side of the room we're on still isn't even really that cool that I should be moved deeper in. We were trying to figure out how I can like get moved. So she, we were thinking that we were gonna have to call like one of the guys that we saw outside at the pool to come and carry me 
back up to my apartment and then I started feeling like I needed to use the bathroom at the same time while this is happening my stomach has like major cramps my head really hurts I'm like is this all because my wig is too tight like what is going on Mary helps me take off my shoes after I sip some water get up and I'm walking like doubled over all the way to the bathroom which was like maybe like 30 feet away like, and i literally just lay on the bathroom floor that is so disgusting bathroom floor is really cold and it's actually feels like it's helping me a little bit i'm laying there and i still feel my body sweating and in my head i'm like look up what like heat stroke is like the symptoms and she's reading them all out and it literally guys i was having a heat exhaustion or a heat stroke and we were only outside for like maybe like 10 minutes i don't know maybe i'm forgetting that this is atlanta and it is super hot but we were only outside for 10 minutes meanwhile i'm thinking to myself i haven't eaten the last time i ate was definitely a full day ago 24 hours ago i had some chipotle yesterday and now this is happening to me 5 p.m so like over 24 hours i haven't eaten anything and that mainly because i was thinking we were doing brunch i was thinking we were doing lunch so it just get pushed back no i should have ate breakfast this morning but this has never happened to me like then again I'm, i just usually stay in the house stay in my bed i think me being up all day and actually doing stuff like i was filming for the vlog i had to film a mini haul i should showered i stood up doing my hair my makeup i stood up taking pictures and then being outside i think the sun really just did it for me like i didn't really feel weak but i think because my body was weak that i easily succumbed to heat exhaustion i really just feel like that's what it was and i'm so glad that it started going away after 10 minutes like now i feel um uh, much better i just all i feel is like hunger right now I feel much better uh, just being laid on the ground i laid in the on the bathroom floor for five minutes before using the bathroom laid back down and then we finally got upstairs king she was asking me do i need to call 911 what's it called the ambulance is expensive and all for them to do the same thing i'm gonna do at home like the doctors i feel like they would have done for me what i'm doing is basically lay me down give me fluids give me food tell me that i'm not supposed to go a full day without eating which i know so we basically done all that um mary went to go get me some food um because we didn't think it was a good idea that i eat the chipotle that's in the fridge so she just went to get chicken tenders fries and burger and hopefully after that i'm gonna be feeling better and then maybe we'll go somewhere tonight the thing is i just really wanted to drink today and imagine if i would have started drinking or this would have happened to me outside <sighs> and i had had her text michael and everything and that man still hasn't texted me back he's at a pool party i hope he feels some pain in his chest when he sees that he missed a very important text and i was almost dying he's gonna facetime me like what happened what happened sorry i wasn't next to my phone i was in the pool now look your girlfriend almost died and you over there having the time of your life swimming now that i feel better i'm like so i just did my face my hair this outfit to just come in basically faint from heat exhaustion and not be able to go out i'm sorry y'all i feel like this vlog is dry i cannot believe that i literally almost passed out okay i'll talk to you guys later this is weird this is this is kind of weird so it's now 1 a.m and we're gonna try this again <laughs> this is mary you guys might remember Hi. her from my atl vlog when we went on well, we came here to Atlanta for her birthday, mm -hmm. and now we both live here. Nine we months are later. We officially Atlanta girls. Yeah, nine months later, we both live here. So we're going to be going to her job. She works at Azul. So we're going to go there and eat some food a little bit, and then maybe try and go to another place called mm -hmm. Penthouse. We'll see. I don't know if I should vlog just in case stuff doesn't go well again, and like we're going to eat at the first place. We're going to say it's going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, and I'm not really going to drink. Well, I'm not supposed to, and I don't even feel like I should until like I eat enough. But I feel like I should just yeah, at least not just today. maybe if you eat and you feel better. Yeah, it's been it. like six hours, but my stomach feels kind of weird. But I feel like I am still hungry. The food that we got wasn't that great earlier, so I didn't eat that much of it. But um, yeah, check out our tops. Out. Oh yeah, we're matching both of our tops thing. from PLT, and we're matching today. Matching. You know the vibe. Did we just flip our hair at the same time? Oh, did we? <laughs> I think mean, we did. You know the vibe. Okay. So just in case I don't vlog anymore, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was supposed to be like regular weekend vlog, but it ended up being like a chill weekend vlog. Hope you guys got some like inspo a little bit from me doing my closet and the little 
fall stuff that I showed you guys in my bathroom and it wasn't too boring for you but stay tuned keep subscribing we're gonna have better weekend vlogs we Labor Day are. weekend is going up our friends are coming in from out of town. Hopefully by then I'll have my couch. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.